We're on a marketplace mission. Sleuthing for sugar at the supermarket. We're looking for added sugar, hidden in packaged foods that you don't think of as sweets or treats. Back at CBC, time to decode these food labels with a registered dietitian. Stefania, we're talking something sweet today. We're talking all about sugar. Yes, we are. Stefania Palmieri says naturally occurring sugars in fruit and dairy are nothing to worry about, but we do need to limit how much added sugar we eat. Added is exactly that. Anything that you or a manufacturer puts in just for taste. Sugar shock number one, Liberté 0% organic vanilla yogurt. So if we take a look at the label here, uh, we see 19 grams of sugar. Nutrition labels in Canada are only required to show total sugars, not how much sugar has been added by the manufacturer. But we're gonna try to find out the sweet secret. Stefania's first tip, check the ingredient list. The higher up an ingredient is on the list, the more of it there is. With this yogurt, the second ingredient includes sugar. That's a pretty big giveaway that there is something added to this product to get it to be this way. We do the math. The vanilla yogurt has 19 grams of total sugar per serving. Compare that to plain unsweetened Liberté 0% organic yogurt with only five grams. That suggests the vanilla yogurt has 14 grams of added sugar in just one serving which is slightly over three teaspoons of added sugar. That would be the best way we could guesstimate it. Four grams is about one teaspoon. We're gonna show you what that looks like. There's one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three teaspoons of added sugar, just for having a flavored yogurt. General Mills, the owner of Liberté, says they follow Health Canada's regulations, which include the labeling of total sugars in the product but they won't confirm how much added sugar is in their vanilla yogurt. Stefania's sweet suggestion to reduce your added sugar? Take a 100 gram cup of a flavored yogurt, so the individual packet, and dilute it down in a larger tub of plain yogurt. And that way they can have the best of both worlds. Most prepackaged foods have added sugar. Public health professor David Hammond studied added sugar in 40,000 packaged foods in Canada. We found that about two thirds of products had added sugar. The real challenges are things that consumers see as a healthy alternative, but in fact are often uh, chock full of added or free sugars. So it's sneaky sugar. It's sneaky sugar, and I think what makes it sneaky is that it's very hard. You know, what do we do? We tell people to go look on the back of the label and look at the number. Most Canadians have no idea how much a gram of sugar is. How did you guys determine that the sugar had actually been added? Because it's not on the label. The short answer is it's very difficult to tell just from the label. Sugar shock number two, Campbell's condensed tomato soup. The label says one cup of soup has got 16 grams of sugar. So what's tricky about a tomato soup is that tomatoes and certain vegetables do have natural sugar content. But if we double check with the ingredient list, you'll notice that the third ingredient is glucose fructose, which is an added sugar. So how much sugar has been added? We call up the Campbell's consumer line to find out. Unfortunately, we are not able to know the exact amount of added sugar in the soup. You don't what know? Do? No, we're not able to know. I can send this with my research team and I can get back to you either by phone or email. Later, Campbell's media team tells us their tomato soup has 11 grams of added sugar in one cup. That's just under three teaspoons. One, two, three. But south of the border, there are no sugar secrets. New regulations mean added sugar is right there on the label. It's also on Campbell's U.S. website. I find that much more helpful to the average consumer, to families, because if these purchases are being made at the store, that's really where the decision-making is happening. The World Health Organization recommends limiting added sugar or free sugars to just 25 grams a day for maximum health benefits. That's about six teaspoons. So after some yogurt and soup, it seems we're already at the recommended limit. Stefania says you've got to be mindful of marketing while shopping. Always check the facts. 
The front of the packaging is intended for marketing, and while some of those health claims can be alluring and draw your attention to the product, really you want to do a little bit of detective work and check the side with the Nutrition Facts panel, the ingredient list, to make a fully informed decision for yourself. Time for sugar shock number three. Vitamin water, calcium orange, a nutrient enhanced water beverage. I think this is a product that has very persuasive marketing and kind of appeals to the on the go Canadian. It's got 32 grams of total sugar, but how much is added? Coca-Cola owns vitamin water. Their media team won't tell us, but they do say too much sugar isn't good for anyone. And they offer many low or zero sugar drinks, including zero sugar vitamin water. But with cane sugar as the second ingredient, Stefania suspects that all of the 32 grams of sugar are added. That would be about eight teaspoons of sugar. Eight! Oh my gosh, I might need a bigger bowl. Let's try. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Five, six, <gasps> seven. Wow, look at that. You've already knocked out your full day's worth of added sugar. Just in one drink. You're done for a day and a bit. Health Canada does not allow companies to include added sugar on the label, but they say there's nothing to prevent companies from telling you if you ask. Only one of the companies that we reached out to has gotten back to us about added sugar, and that was Campbell's. Are you surprised that like even we can't get the answers? I don't think it's in their interest to talk about just how many of their products and at what levels they add sugar. We need to make it easier for consumers, whether it's offered for companies or not. Canada is getting new nutrition labels, but added sugar still isn't listed. We ask Health Canada why not. They say it's more important that consumers know the total amount of sugars in a product rather than only what's been added. And say their new labels will help Canadians reduce their sugar intake and make informed choices. But Hammond thinks it's a missed opportunity. The reality is, is that we're going to have to require companies to do this because they're not giving consumers this information on their own. So the next time you're out shopping, keep your eyes open for the new nutrition labels Health Canada is rolling out. And we'll be watching for them too, to see how helpful they really are. And we're still on the lookout for more sugar shocks. So send us your stories. We're at marketplace at cbc.ca.